Welcome to the class. Dear students, today we are going to see the synthesis of oxymes from aldehyde and ketones. Before proceeding to study this section, we need to understand first what is imine and what is oxime. So simply stating imine is this functional group that is carbon double bond nitrogen. This kind of functional group is called as an imine. And compounds that have this kind of functional group, carbon double bond nitrogen, are called as imines. An oxime is when a hydroxy group is attached to the nitrogen of the imine. Oximes are those compounds in which the hydroxy group is attached to nitrogen of the imine. So these are called as oximes. Oximes are of two types mainly. The first is aldoxime. The second is ketoxime. Ketoxime has a subtype which is known as cyclic oxime. Why it is called as an aldoxime or a ketoxime? This is because an aldoxime is derived from an aldehyde. A ketoxime is derived from a ketone. A cyclic oxime is derived from a cyclic ketone. That is why I said that it is a subtype of ketoxime. As to how it is prepared, how is aldoxime prepared from an aldehyde, how is ketoxime prepared from a ketone, that is what we are going to see in the next section. So how do we prepare an aldoxime of desired number of carbon atoms from an aldehyde? For this, we take an aldehyde of the same number of carbon atoms of what we have desired from an aldoxime. So we take this aldehyde and we react it with hydroxyl amine. This is ammonia, this is amine and this is hydroxyl amine. So that's why it's said it's called as hydroxyl amine. So when we react this in the presence of an acid, what happens is that these two add up with each other leading to an addition product with the elimination of a very simple molecule of water. So basically, it is an addition reaction with the elimination of a simple molecule of water. So that makes it a condensation reaction. Now, the question is, what kind of addition reaction is it? Is it an electrophilic addition reaction or a nucleophilic addition reaction or a free radical addition reaction? For this, you have to introspect the structure of the aldehyde. Look at the structure of aldehyde. Here, the carbon-oxygen double bond is a polarized one. The oxygen is electronegative in nature. It pulls the electron towards itself. The electron cloud is always towards oxygen. Therefore, this part of the molecule is negative. And because the electron cloud is far away from carbon, this part becomes positive. Now, the nitrogen of the hydroxyl amine has a lone pair of electron over it. Right? Now, this acts as a nucleophile. This gets attracted to the positively charged carbon atom. So, it's a, actually, it's a neutral nucleophile. And this neutral nucleophile acts as a nucleophile and attacks the positively charged carbon atom. So basically, it is a nucleophilic addition reaction catalyzed by an acid with the elimination of a simple molecule of water. So it's an acid catalyzed nucleophilic addition reaction with the elimination of water molecule. In the same way, you can prepare a ketoxime from a ketone and a cyclic oxime from a cyclic ketone. The things I have said here, the points I have said here applies to these reactions as well. These reactions are also acid catalyzed nucleophilic addition reaction with the elimination of a simple molecule of water. In the next section, we will try to understand the mechanism behind this reaction. Now let us look at the mechanism of this reaction, the mechanism of the formation of a ketoxime from ketone. While discussing the mechanism, we are going to prove three things. First, that it is catalyzed by an acid. Second, that it is a nucleophilic addition reaction. And third, that it is a condensation reaction. 
these three points we are going to prove in the mechanism so please do listen carefully our first intent is to remove oxygen look at the product who is attached which atom is attached nitrogen is attached to carbon through double bond we have to remove this oxygen so that nitrogen can attach but removing this oxygen is not an easy task as it seems to be because oxygen is having two lone pair of electron there are excessive electrons on oxygen there is no scarcity and that makes this oxygen a very good nucleophile it is attracted to the nucleus of the carbon because it has enough electrons so our first intent <clears throat> our first uh, trick to remove this oxygen is to somehow reduce the electron density of oxygen how do we reduce the electron density of oxygen yes by protonating it so we use an acid for that so that is why we use an acid so when we use an acid the acid the H plus what it does is that it protonates the oxygen it takes away the lone pair of the oxygen when the lone pair of oxygen is taken away the oxygen becomes positively charged now as you know oxygen is electronegative already electronegative the positive charge on oxygen makes it more electronegative so when it becomes very high more electronegative what it does is that it snatches away the electron pair that it shares with the carbon this electron pair now drifts towards the oxygen when it drifts towards the oxygen the oxygen's lone pair gets restored fine but because the carbon has lost its one electron yes there was a shared pair of electron that drifted one was of carbon because it lost its one electron there is a unit positive charge on the carbon atom now what happens this acts as a very strong lewis acid there is a lewis base here it wants to donate its electron this acts as a very strong lewis base a lewis base is something that can donate a pair of electrons so it acts as a very strong lewis base and this acts as a very strong lewis acid so now the hydroxyl amine donates its pair of electron the nitrogen donates its pair of the electron to the carbon when the nitrogen donates its pair of electron to carbon the carbon becomes neutral its problem is solved but the nitrogen because it has donated its lone pair of electron this nitrogen becomes positive now dear students nitrogen is already electronegative the positive charge on nitrogen makes it more electronegative so therefore this electron pair that it shares with hydrogen now is snatched away from the hydrogen this electron pair drifts towards the nitrogen it is attracted towards the nitrogen and H plus goes out of this reaction so our first point we are going to prove it now acid catalysis here the acid enters the reaction and it is here that acid leaves the reaction so a catalyst is something that just speedens up the reaction it doesn't form part of the product here the acid doesn't form part of the product it enters and it leaves the reaction so our first point here is proved that it is acid catalyst our second point is was to prove whether it is a nucleophilic addition reaction or not so here we can see how this nucleophile this is of course a neutral nucleophile how this neutral nucleophile with a lone pair of electron is attracted to positively charged nucleus and it gets added so it's a nucleophilic yes a neutral nuclear neutral nucleophile addition reaction so nucleophilic addition reaction which is acid catalyzed these two points are proved now let us come back to the reaction when this pair is snatched towards drifts towards nitrogen nitrogen's problems are solved it gets lone pair of electron back fine but now what happens the hydrogen is so oriented that it is very close to oxygen okay o hydrogen goes to oxygen and snatches away the lone pair of electron of oxygen why does it do so why does it leave the nitrogen and goes to oxygen this is due to the reason that oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen look what is the atomic number of oxygen 
yes it is 8 and what is atomic number of nitrogen it is 7 that means oxygen has got one more proton extra one proton more than nitrogen correct it has one proton more than nitrogen because its atomic number is 8 and this atomic number is 7 so because of this it is having more electronegativity as the number of shells for nitrogen and oxygen are same outermost shell uh, is same for them fine because of this reason the H you know, goes towards oxygen and takes away the electron pair here okay it is more preferable for hydrogen to attack the lone pair of electron on oxygen okay rather than to share the electron pair with nitrogen okay so it goes away here when the lone pair of electron is taken from oxygen the oxygen becomes positively charged when hydrogen left the nitrogen it didn't take its pair of electron the pair of electron it left and leaving it it went to oxygen and took the lone pair of electron of oxygen making it positively charged now look at the h2o plus group do you think it is a good nucleophile not at all it is a very poor nucleophile why because there are no electrons in it electrons are not there okay the whatever electron was there it was taken by hydrogen it became positively charged now it is a very poor nucleophile it is not at all attracted to any positive charge of the carbon nucleus in fact it tries to take the electron pair that it shared with the carbon so now h2o plus is a very good leaving group okay it's a poor nucleophile it's a very good leaving group it takes away the electron pair that it shared with carbon when it takes away the electron pair that it shares with carbon the carbon becomes positively charged the positively charged carbon now attracts the negative charge on the nitrogen and this negative charge comes here and forms the bond and thus a double bond is formed between the carbon and the nitrogen right and the formation of keto oxides takes place by this mechanism dear students if you have liked the class if you have understood it please do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much